going on guys? Bowtie Brem here once again. And today I got another review video for you. And it's going to be a lighting review video. Um, got the big old jacket on today because it's a little nipply out. You can see the leaves are changing. But um, as you guys may know, I have about half a million lights all over the truck. You know, and I said, well, what else do I need for lighting? And let me tell you guys, I think I have the idea of a lifetime and I'm hoping that it works out. So the out. product I'm gonna be reviewing today is by a company called Nuevo. I think that's how you pronounce it. N-A-O-E-V-O. -E and um, I got some multi-functioning um, pod lights. Look just like this, four inch cubes. I guess technically a little rectangle if you think about it. But these are pretty sweet. So they got, as you can see, they got all those white lights on the top and bottom, but they also switch to orange. They got, I'll get deeper into it more in the video, but these things I think are going to be awesome. They look fantastic. The quality is good. They even have embedded screws in the fins so you don't have to finagle around and try to um, bolt them up and everything like that. So that's a big plus. Um, but my idea for these is not physically on the truck. Now I was just messing around to see if my theory would work here, but I have, like I said, the idea of a lifetime. Um, everyone, you know, in the truck scene has these underglow rock lights and stuff like that, but uh, a company hasn't reached out to give me those yet. So I got the next best thing here. I'm gonna call these my underglow slash hazard um, lights. So this is just a rough little draft here, but I'm gonna be hooking them up one in each direction under the truck. So I'll be able to have orange, white, flashing, all that good stuff like I'll get into under the truck. So in a hazardous situation, or if I just need some light under the truck, I will now have it. So, uh, well, on the same clip, let me show you what it comes with here. So it comes with two of those lights, like I just showed you these pods. Now, as you can see, there's three wires here. You got the power, ground, well, let me show you good here. Power, ground, and then the multi-function button. Cause this has, they have six functions and I'll show you all them after I get it installed. But, um, so it comes with two of those pods um, and a good old wiring harness um, to connect everything. It comes with um, connectors, um, so you don't have to actually splice the wires together. You just crimp them on each side and plug them in. Um, it's got this switch, which I don't have any of these in my truck yet, but what's one more? On and off button, and then it's got the mode button because it has six modes, just like I had talked about. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping for the best with them. And uh, I figure you guys, this could be the idea of a lifetime. I'm hoping it works out like I imagine. I'm hoping the lights are as bright as I picture them being. So uh, yeah, let's dive right. into it. So starting off, we're gonna be uh, hooking the wiring harness up to the battery. Um, as I said before, and many of my uh, subscribers may know, I have half a million lights already on the truck. So my battery is <laughs> looking quite uh, filled up, but that's no need to fear. We'll make something work. Um, so it comes with the positive and negative here. Just slap them on the terminal, ready to go. It has your relay right here, and then this, line right here um this one goes to that switch that i just talked about that i'm going to be running and then it goes to those um the wires that power the lights um everything's nice and weather guarded um nice and thick doesn't really look chintzy to me which is good um like i said before they come with these plug-in connectors and you just have to splice them on the cubes but um yeah everything looks nice and uh quality so far so uh yeah so what i did was ran it through underneath this sucker underneath there that's where all my wires come out and um i'm gonna run it along here splice those into that one this one's gonna be the rear one shooting out the rear on the other side this uh same bar um, is going to be shooting out the front of the truck. So, uh, yeah. I just put that one up to make sure my theory worked, like I think I said. And, um, yeah, we're going to get to it. So, what I did is... Oh, I'll get down here and show you. So, 
so there is ever so slightly a little gap up here. I think you can see it. You can barely point to it. In there, um, it comes with all the supplied hardware that you would need. So, uh, yeah, I just fit my fingers in a good old, um, the bolt for them is a half inch. I think this is a half inch, half inch bolt. And, uh, yeah, it's got sitting down there. Good old rusty frame with some zip ties. But, hey, that's New York for you. Um, so, yeah, we're going to take it from here. I just installed this one, like I said. I'm going to run around to the other side and uh, put that one up. And then uh, I'll come back after I get them both in. And then we'll uh, do some wiring. And I'll show you how actually simple it is to wire these up because they just got those crimp connectors like I talked about. So, um, oh, sneak peek on the trimming. Um, yeah, so I'll be back in a minute. Party people. So I just uh, put the quick connects on. Um, you see all like that. Literally with these, if you don't know, all you do is you put a piece of wire in that uh, little, the little area and take a good old crimper and squeeze it together. Now these um, are the, I think, male ends. And these ones are the female. You could see, the, if you could see, they just plug right in. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you what it looks like. So they literally just plug all in like that and you're connected. Um, yeah, it's really as simple as that. I think I'm just gonna use some electrical tape because I forgot my uh, shrink wrap and just to cover these connections a little bit more. But uh, yeah, that's as simple as it is. Now I'm gonna run this slide under and to the other side and then uh, tuck it all up and then I'll be back. Alrighty guys, well the setup was going smooth and dandy until um, I'm gonna have to name a con here. Um, the lights, when you get them, they're um, six different settings like I had mentioned, but they're not set on the same setting. So you'd have one that's orange flashing and then another one that's constant white. So, okay, whatever. You just undo a quick, in theory, you would just undo a quick connect and um, change the mode till they're the same and back in and you're good. Problem is those quick connects do not come apart for the life of you. I am yanking on them. I'm trying to pry them out with a screwdriver. I'm using um, a wire cutter crimper thing to try to pull it out and nothing. So now I got some ghetto-ness going on because it's stuck in, the male is stuck in the female side. And uh, yeah, so um, I got, that's gonna be a con. Um, you know, I'm an honest reviewer here, so. Yeah, they're not set on the same setting. If they were on the same setting, maybe mine was just a defect. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that's a pain in the butt. So for the last hour now, I've been trying to get them all disconnected, reconnected. But I got to find some ghetto way to reconnect the wire to the male side of that um, connector so it'll work. So still working on that. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, guys. Well... After a good long while, they are finally installed. Um, yep, they look to be doing what they should be doing. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I'll come back live to show you guys the modes and stuff when it gets a little darker out. Alrighty, guys, so I got it all hooked up. It's now nighttime, and uh, I'll give you a run of it. So. I moved them to the front instead of the uh, front and back because I think this looks better. But this is the uh, strobe mode. As you can see, the white is super bright and the orange is, which is awesome. Looks kind of crazy. But I will show you all the modes to it, okay? That is the white and the orange. We have just white. I'm going to give you a walk around for all of them. I mean... Very bright. Okay, we had the white and orange strobe. Now we're on just white. Now we got just orange. Look at how bright that is though, even just the orange. Way down there. 